State lawmakers are working to overhaul Kentucky's juvenile justice system. And that could mean a new state-of-the-art run facility in Louisville. WLKY's Lauren Adams details the changes already being made to improve security. We've had two staff recently from Adair County that have been in the ICU for multiple days. Uh, one thought he was going to lose his life. That was after an assault at a juvenile detention center there. State lawmakers, including Louisville's Jason Nemeth, spent Thursday morning talking about an overhaul to what they call a very broken juvenile justice system. The Department of Juvenile Justice Work Group has made several recommendations and said the governor has already made some of those changes. After multiple assaults on staff, state troopers will now be in place 24-7 at facilities in Adair, Fayette, and Warren counties. Following the rape of a young girl, males and females will be housed separately. And juveniles will also be separated based on the seriousness of the crime. But at the Capitol, the group called for even more, including an audit and a change in leadership. The single most important thing the governor can do is to get a trustee to come in who uh, has the full range to, to, to find the problems, no matter where they are, no matter whose fault they are, and fix them. Governor Bashir says he wants to use some of the state's $2 billion surplus for staff raises and security improvements at juvenile detention centers across the state. Let's not try to beat each other up over this. Let's fix it. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, and I've asked this administration to do. Bashir wants $9 million to fund two new detention centers, likely a female-only facility in the center of the state and possibly a high-security facility in Louisville. Representative Kevin Bratcher met with Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg along with the interim police chief and others Wednesday and says they're looking at reopening the former juvenile detention center in downtown. It was run by the city before it closed in 2019, but this time the state would be in charge. I can say we came out of that meeting all on board that Louisville is going to get a detention center and a good one. And one more thing to tell you about, state officials are getting ready to reopen a youth detention facility on LaGrange Road. It closed in November to make safety improvements, and for now, it is set to house about 10 boys who are charged with lower-level offenses. Reporting for you tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.